Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, looking at GoPro daily, weekly, shorter term time frames. Hope you had the best Friday of your life. So looking at GoPro, we've had a really nice uptrend August through September, higher lows and higher highs. We've been consolidating. It's been normal and healthy consolidation. And I can say that because the decreasing volume, there was a spike in bear volume here. If you just look at the color of the candle of volume, but you can look up here and see a lot of that was bulls buying the dip, big dip and a recovery. So the bulls are continuing to close above the 1650 area. That just stands out as a psychological level to me, watching the price bounce off of it over the last five days. But it's getting very tight is the point, and the volume is continuing to decrease, and there's going to be a break in this pattern, and it's going to be very clear with a spike in volume. So that could happen Monday or Tuesday, I would say, in the near-term future, judging by how tight we are getting here. So I'm looking at resistance of 17 psychological, the high of today. Then we've got 1735, 1741 at the top of this range. The 10-day moving average support is creeping up. That's going to be in the low 1620s on monday and i'm looking at the low of thursday here 1640 as a key support key support and again the bulls want to keep closing over that 1650 level so the weekly time frame is stalling out it's a bearish reversal doji after two very bullish weeks and again normal healthy consolidation look at the volume for the bulls compared to the volume for the bears which is what the bulls always want to see so we need to wait for this upper bollinger band to ascend the bulls need to be patient you can see back here we had three rejections from the upper Bollinger Band, consolidated, and then had the breakout. So we'll see how much consolidation is going to come. And we'll keep an eye on this weekly upper Bollinger Band because that's clearly a level that the bulls are struggling with and waiting to continue to ascend. 1717 is that upper Bollinger Band resistance. Let's look on the five minute time frame and see some trade today, some trading action. So the 20 period moving average support was lining up with the 100 period moving average support in the morning. And it's very tricky. I wouldn't be trading GoPro in the first 15 minutes personally. I'd wait for it to settle down. Tons of fake outs. And today was a very tame day, relatively speaking, for GoPro. But we bounced off that support, headed to the upside, pulled back, bounced off it again. And then we started to get a new high of the day, a little bit of an uptrend, back test and hold, 200 period support. Then head to higher highs, bounce off the 20 period support, a new higher high, 20 period support holds again. So then right here when it broke, if you were a bull at any point today, losing the 20 period moving average support here, you're starting to pay attention and say, uh oh, that's not what I want to occur. And we have an increase in bearish volume on that candlestick. It's a red Maro Bozu. The bears controlled the entirety of it. And we closed down near the low of the day. So then on the bounce, we back tested and rejected from this 20 period moving average, the green line here, three candlesticks in a row. And it's followed by another red Maro Bozu. Not exactly because there's a tiny lower wick but I don't get caught up on the exact definitions. Clearly it's a bearish candlestick and it came with high volume yet again. So I personally would have been out as a bull on that 20 period moving average support. And then especially even if I waited a little bit, the back tests and rejections, that would have certainly been the exit signal. Then we pulled back, got tighter, 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 held those moving average supports until the end of the day. And what let us know the weakness was here, increases in bearish volume, falling right through support, ending the day pretty weak. So it was a tight range overall on this five minute chart. It doesn't look like it, but on the daily chart compared to the last two weeks, it certainly was a tight day. So we'll see a clear break and a clear spike in volume Monday or Tuesday, in my opinion, and we'll see which direction it favors. I appreciate you watching. Have a great weekend.